How to Safeguard Yourself from X-Ray Radiation Discovered more than 100 years ago, X-Ray radiation continues to play an important role in patient care. X-rays are used to look inside the body without cutting through it to diagnose many ailments. You know this. But do you know that X-rays are also used to kill cancer cells and causes tumor to shrink? In radiotherapy using X-rays, high amount of radiation dose is delivered to tumor site in a controlled manner for treatment. However, a small amount of radiation dose is delivered to the patient in radiology. Patients are immensely getting benefited through X-ray examination with this nominal radiation dose which does not cause any noticeable health impact on them. But, what about you? Who withstand with X-ray radiation for a prolonged period of your career? Atomic Energy Regulatory Board is concerned about your safety. AERB's focus is on you. You should not receive undue radiation from medical X-rays. Being a national regulatory body for safe use of X-ray radiation, AERB approves X-ray machines through rigorous quality tests to ensure that the machine is good and radiation leakage is within acceptable levels. Obtaining AERB license for operation of X-ray machine is mandatory. License is issued only after ensuring that X-ray room is constructed and safety tools are available as per its requirements. AERB has established personnel radiation dose limits for safe operation with X-rays. The dose limits are internationally recognized for safety. The doses are monitored regularly, and one should not exceed these dose limits. Although, very less radiation dose is received while working with X-rays, the limit could exceed if AERB safety requirements are not followed. If you work without protective barrier or lead apron, you could receive undue radiation and exceed the dose limit. Protective barrier or lead apron provides significant protection from scattered X-ray radiation. Similarly, people around X-ray room could receive undue radiation if room is not constructed with sufficiently thick brick wall and lead lined door. A heavy metal lead is used in protective barrier and in lead apron. Unlike human body or wood of a door, X-ray radiation cannot pass through lead. Use of protective barrier and lead apron reduces personnel radiation dose significantly. So, always ensure to make use of these safety accessories. Now you have understood that you need to work within safe radiation dose limits, but how to measure your own radiation dose? X-ray radiation is invisible, you cannot sense, or feel it. Similar are the microwave radiation used for mobile communication. However, you can see SMS on mobile phone, which captures microwave radiation signal. Likewise, TLD badge is used to capture X-ray radiation, to measure personnel radiation dose. Since TLD badge is used to measure personnel dose, it should be worn properly. Always wear TLD badge at your chest level. If you are wearing lead apron, TLD badge should be placed inside the apron. Always remember to keep TLD badge away from X-ray room after the work. There could be scenario when patient need to be immobilized while taking X-rays. In case patient need to be assisted or held for X-ray. Do not get yourself involved. Ask patients relative to wear lead apron and hold the patient during examination. In this situation, patient's relative will receive nominal radiation dose once in a lifetime. But if you keep assisting or holding patients regularly, your personal dose will keep on building. Friends, radiation is present everywhere. We are continuously receiving small amount of natural radiation from the sky, the earth, the food we eat and building we live in. So, there is nothing to worry about radiation when working within limits. You need to be attentive for your own safety to offer benefits of radiation to the society.
Remember to display this warning sign outside the X-ray room. For more information on radiation safety and diagnostic radiology, visit AERB's website www.aerb.gov.in.